Julia, lovely to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. I guess the first question is um, when Abbas kind of brings his story to you in this character, what was your first impression? Basically? He didn't bring a story. I came to, I went to Tehran to meet with him because mm. I didn't think the film could be possible because it, with him because he's working mostly with non-actors and in his country and I don't think as a French actress I could play there. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but one night, one evening, he he started telling me about this story that happened to him in Italy with a woman and how it happened and was kind of fascinated by, you know, this woman craziness. Mm. And at the end of the story, he said, you believe me? And I said, yes. And then he said, well, it's not true. Mm. And I laughed because I couldn't, I couldn't imagine he would spend so much time in details. It felt so real. Um, and then a few days after, he said to me, oh, it'd be great to find a producer and to go for it. Mm. So it comes, came like this. But also a natural conversation would be about men and women's relationship and my private life, his private life. And we would chat a lot about, you know, these uh, big themes about, you know, men and women's relationships. And I think this film is, is an echo of this kind of uh, friendship and, and laugh we shared a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the, the relationship, I guess, is very sort of mysterious and ambiguous. So do you kind of have a, a in your head, do you have a definitive kind of thing that you think what it is, basically? Because there's, there's some, they think, more maybe they knew each other before. Or I mean, it's very, uh, it's very real in a way, because I think that in our head, you know, as we're talking like this, I may think something of your life and my mm. life, and the imagination makes you travel so easily back and forth. Yeah. As, you know, you can imagine we're married, or you can imagine that we don't know each other, or we can... And in a film, it just makes this inside reality into real reality, because they speak out what maybe they're feeling. Mm. So it's just uh, taking this, you know, an hour and a half, of this relationship, at the beginning they don't know each other, at the end they're like a couple, it's like 15 years put in an hour and a half. Mm. So movies allow to do this kind of tricks with time, with, you know, c condensing life. And so in that way, it feels very real to me as completely a fantasy. Uh, but when I watch the film, it just mostly makes me laugh. For me, it's a comedy. Mm. I mean, with layers of, you know, depth and sort of tragic, how do we get along being so different? But mainly it makes me laugh. You know, when they're in the restaurant with the tucking and they, they almost spitting at, spitting at each other and they don't know yet who they are. They don't know each other. It's, it's funny. I was wondering with um, uh, William hadn't acted before. Mm -hmm. um, did you kind of meet him and talk a lot before, or did you kind of go straight into it? Because then you didn't no, we had two weeks of rehearsals with yeah. the director, and then after that we sp took some time, you know, apart in order to, uh, so he feels more comfortable as well, because mm. it's, it's uh, you know, there's a journey to go through when you've never acted. Mm. And also because he knew the script by heart from first page to the last page, at the beginning of rehearsal, so I was very impressed. But he's learned it like a musician, mm. like a partition, you know. And as an actor, you, I think, you get into it in a different way, you know. And so I wanted to make sure that he relates his own life with the lines. So it's not about just saying lines, saying words. It's it's related to him. Yeah. Do you think there's an advantage being that he's uh, an Englishman? Because I think there's a stereotype that Englishmen are quite guarded and reserved and that's maybe why your character wants to kind of penetrate him and find out. I about. think it probably happens also in Iran because that's what Abbas is saying in the film is that men tends to protect themselves with thoughts, with mm. ideas, with trying to feel, you know, sort of control thing with a head and as women they're more exposed emotionally. It doesn't mean that men cannot be emotional but just the first you know, approach is, is probably with a lot more distance for men. And so he wanted to show, in a way, that we're very different. Our guts, um, you know, behave in a different way. But I think that probably it's, it's right maybe at the beginning, but as you're going in maturity throughout life, 
I think that maybe there's a possible connection there that men are emotionally more open because mm. they, when you've been, you know, a little moved by life, you, you're more open in a certain way. And, and maybe women, they don't put everything they want to put on men <laughs> because, you know, it, it's, um, I think maturity brings a lot of, um, sort of, I don't, I don't know the word innocent being the right one, but a, a lot of more, uh, be more available for the other. That's mm. what I believe. Okay, uh, one last question. Uh, you've had, you've won an Oscar, uh, the Cannes Actress Award for this film, uh, Venice and a Caesar. Is there one that kind of means more to you out of all of those? They, be they belong to a different periods of, of life. Um, and I have to say, uh, in, for Venice and Berlin, actually, I, was, I, w I could not go there. Mm. And it was a little frustrating. So can I could go there. I was kind of a nice also, because I was born in Cannes yeah. oh, with okay. a rendezvous. Uh, so that's 25 years before I was really taken by journalists, maybe, uh, m mostly, um, because they saw my work. and. So it was kind of a nice circle after mm. 25 years. But I mean, I, they're different experiences. You know, the Oscar is so big in the sense of, you know, it's international, it's, it's America, it's a whole deal of mm. things. But at the same time, I was so surprised by it. I didn't expect it. So, um, so it was another journey. <laughs>